What's up everyone, welcome back. Today we're playing Sauron the Dark Lord in Historic Brawl. Sauron is from the most recent Lord of the Rings set. This is one of the most awesome card designs in my opinion of recent memory. So, six mana total, three generic, Grixis, it's a 7-6 Avatar Horror. So the ward on this is insane. Sacrifice a legendary artifact or legendary creature. So, essentially, the opponent can't target this card unless they sack a legendary artifact, which they exist, but there aren't that many of them, or a legendary creature, which they probably will have because of their commander. So this card essentially reads, you can't interact with this card unless you sack your commander. <laughs> Great ward effect, right? Nothing. Nothing's worse than having a six mana commander, you play it and then it's killed by some two mana removal spell, right? or bounced, or, you know, targeted in some other way, um, exiled, whatever it is. Uh, this essentially ensures that it comes down and can't be interacted with unless the opponent has, you know, a legendary artifact or legendary creature to sacrifice. So, moving on. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, a mass orcs one. This is, this gets out of hand. If this, this card in Commander is especially insane, but even in Historic Brawl, Whenever our opponent casts a spell, so even if they're trying to remove this, right? Let's say they have the creature to sack, or the legendary artifact to sack. They target it, we still create a creature. So it's not like we go down a creature if they interact with this. And every spell they cast, we grow that creature by plus one, plus one. So the orc army gets gigantic. It's not that uncommon to have a 10-10 orc army alongside Sauron. Um, and then whenever an army you control deals combat damage to a player, the ring tempts you. Whenever the ring tempts you, you may discard your hand if you do draw four cards. So that last clause is just really rounds out this whole thing. It's cherry on top. If you ever played control, any kind of control, whether it's Grixis or Blue White or Demir, something that happens often is you can one for one with your opponent, right? You can counter their spell, you can remove their creature, but you're casting, you know, you're casting your spells to remove their things. And so it's one for one, right? I cast my card to remove your card, right? I cast my Thought Seize to take one card out of your hand. But what ends up happening is both you and your opponent start to run out of cards because you're making them run out of cards usually and then you're casting spells to make them run out of cards. And you get, the, you get to this point in the game where you need card draw. Well, this has card draw built into it. So whenever the ring tempts us, we can discard our hand and draw four cards. But if we have no cards in our hand or very little, or maybe two, you know, maybe we have like a land and a mana rock that we don't need, like we can just discard them and draw a fresh four. So this is a really amazing effect, especially when you combine them with the other ones on this card. So this, this card is a house. <laughs> it's probably my favorite Grixis commander. And backing all that up is Grixis Control, right? Um, now this is an interesting version of Grixis Control. It's not like it's not like copy paste Grixis Control, like Nicol Bolas is. This has you know there's some specific things that we want to hit, like the cards that say the ring tempts you, right? There's not all of them are good, but some of them are. Like Inherited Envelope here, uh, it's it's a mana rock that adds one mana of any color. Obviously our commander costs six so it's nice to have some mana rocks in the deck to get us there a little bit faster but you know if this comes down after we already have sauron down we draw it it's not useless right we cast it in the ring tempts us we can discard our hand draw a fresh four so there's a bunch of cards in this deck that say the ring tempts you i didn't put every single one of them in there but you know i put in the good ones like you know one red deals two damage to any target so it's shock right it's the same as shock except the ring tempts you or Fiery Impulse, uh, or not Fiery Impulse, I'm sorry. I was thinking of Fiery Inscription. Um, when it enters the battlefield, the ring tempts you. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, it deals two damage to each opponent. So, you know, whether or not we cast this with Sauron down, it's still great value. But if we if we do cast it with Sauron down, then we get to discard our hand and draw a fresh four. So, those kinds of spells are in the deck. And then we also have, you know, stuff that builds army or orc tokens, right? Um orc army or zombie army or what any of those they all end up being in the same creature so orcish bowmasters um and other effects like that otherwise it's kind of what you would expect grixis staples shieldred ashiok liliana 
extra turn spells, card draw, loads of removal, counter spells, everything you would expect. So let's get into the queue, see if we can win some games with this deck. Um, sure. I'm not sure what I changed, but <laughs> it's here to stay now. If you like this kind of content, subscribe. Really helps me out, helps the channel grow. The channel's been crazy. I mean, I started with like 50 subscribers a couple months ago, and now I'm almost at four or 500 subscribers, which is awesome. Um, the more subscribers I get, you know, the more views and all that stuff, you know, typical YouTube stuff, the more content I can make. And uh, if, if it gets big enough, I can really dedicate a lot of time to doing this. So um, help me out, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Okay, so we're against the Scarab God. Kind of an annoying zombie deck, especially because it gets to come back um, to their hand. So at the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses X life and you score X. X is the number of zombies you control. And then you can pay four, exile target creature card from a graveyard, create a token that's a copy of it, a copy of it except it's a 4-4 black zombie. So that includes uh, from our graveyard. And then when the Scarab God dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. So this card is really hard to get rid of, but it's their commander, so that's it kind of is hard to get rid of anyway. Um, we have technically two lands and a Signet. We get to go first. So is that good enough? I think so. I think this is the kind of hand we want against this deck. Uh, we have, we'll technically have all our colors, although not all of them... Well, actually, yeah, we'll have black, blue, and then this can make red. So, yeah, we have all our colors. I think we keep. It's a little awkward, but we can play this on turn one. We don't have a turn one play anyway, so this works out. Stick your supplier. Interesting. They're going to self-mill. It's a nice board wipe if we get there. Let's do it like this. I'm not really worried about the 1-1 right now. And if we kill it, they mill themselves more, which I'm not too keen on doing right now. I don't think any of this stuff is stuff they wanted to mill, though, to be honest. I think they want to mill creatures. But they milled uh, two really good lands and a very good planeswalker. Okay, uh, we'll put this on black. Because we have double black in our hand. I know we have double blue, but we can... That's going to take longer to get rid of... Uh, get, get to. And technically we have double blue with uh, the Signet. So we could run out Shieldred. They have two open mana. I mean, let's make them use it, right? They could also have a counter spell. But again, let's make them use the counter spell. That's fine. Because that's a counter spell they could have used on our commander, right? Our commander is good once it's on the battlefield, but it is vulnerable to counters. Okay. Well, we can destroy all their stuff. And they'll do damage to them equal to the number of creature cards in their graveyard, so why not? This also makes it so that um, they may not want to play anything this turn. Unless it's legendary, because it destroys all non-legendaries. They're in blue, black, so they don't really have ways to interact with enchantments. I mean, black has a couple ways, but not, not any great ones. So unless they have exactly... Oh, they're going to play their commander, probably. Which makes sense. So they attack in, yeah, because they're going to die. Resolve. Okay. Um, I think we play this as a land. We don't want to miss land drops. We'll have Rivers Rebuke soon. At the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses X life and you scry X. And Scarab God dies, returns to the beginning of the next end step. Beginning of the next end end step so we can kill it on our end step and it won't go back to their hand until their end step and they won't get the trigger 
So let's do it like that. If we're already in our end step, it's not the end turn. Okay. So it says the beginning. So this is a little wording clause if you're not familiar with that. So we're already past the beginning. We're in our end step. So we should be able to kill this now. And... Yeah, okay. So that way it stays in the graveyard and it doesn't go into their hands until their end step. I was wondering if we were going to get arena there where they, the client wasn't capable of handling that uh, kind of interaction, but it did it. It worked. They, they have two they have two tutus, but they're tokens, so River's Rebuke will make them disappear permanently once we bounce all their stuff. If we draw a land too, it's going to be tempting just to play Sauron because I don't know how they get rid of this in these colors. They're going to draw. Sure. Be nice to draw another red source too because then we could wipe their board, make some treasures. A braid. Alright, a braid, a braid, a braid. Well, next turn they could play the Scarab God again, and we could, on their end step, kill it again. What is it? It's a 5-5? Five, five? That's really annoying. Um, we don't really want to keep taking four a turn. So we could kill both their things, but it just feels like we're wasting our cards. Um, we don't have anything to do right now, so let's just pass. We have no way of drawing cards or doing anything like that. I imagine they're going to play their commander again. <clears throat> well, let's get rid of one of these. We can't take four a turn. That's too high of a clock. I'm okay with taking two, but... Since this card can't hit their commander, might as well use it on something that's putting pressure on us. So we let it, same thing, resolve. We're in their end step. Okay, so they're gonna sack it to draw two cards, which still won't put it back in their hand. Annoying, but the same result. So, we're okay with that. Nice, we drew a card. It's tapped, which is funny, but that's fine. Well, we can Rivers Rebuke them if they get if they pull too far ahead. And we do have uh, Sauron Mana. Hmm, 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 Let me do it like this. If they cast a spell, 
then they ha if they try to remove this, they have to sack their commander. Okay. So they're going to make a copy of Children. Makes sense. But again, River's Rebuke will get rid of that. to your face. Um, I like my hand. So we're gonna decline. Grow our army. I tried to make a historic brawl deck with this guy. It was a good attempt, but uh, didn't quite have the the mustard. Okay, so if we attack with Sauron, they can double block and kill it. This can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. So we'll attack with our orc. Draw a card, discard a card. Hmm. I think it's a, a little bit late for you. It would have been nice to draw land. Um, we'll decline. We like our hand. It's too bad we didn't draw a land. But I think we're going to Sublime Epiphany next turn. So they could target Sauron, but we have Sublime Epiphany, because they could sack uh, Narfi in order to get past the ward. That's all. Uh, Roaming Throne is really good, so this is probably a good opportunity to Sublime Epiphany. Now they could have a counter. I didn't know what would happen if we copied our orc army, but I wanted to see. Okay, we drew a land. Of course it's a tap land. I thought I took out these uh, tap scry lands, but I guess not. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. That was a good draw. It sucks we're on 7 life, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So let's go get Blood Crypt. Actually, uh, we should have gotten the Steam Vents, but it's okay. Pay 2. We can do this for 4. Create a treasure. We can flash in Mastermind if we want. Uh, we don't need to lose any more life. Oh, 
we could draw a fresh four. I think we do, honestly. Because th these cards are not really relevant. This can gain us life, so that's absolutely relevant. Um, end turn. And we can, ex it, like, if they try to activate the Scarab God, we can just exile the card that they're trying to turn into a zombie. They could also bring this back and we could exile it in response. Blood on the snow, huh? So... What are they going to bring back? So we'll resolve this. Then return a creature or planeswalker card with mana value X from your graveyard to the battlefield. So we can exile that card. Return a creature or planeswalker card with mana value X. Here we go. Okay. Which card would they choose? Probably... Probably, hmm. Resolve, okay. Does it let me respond? Full control. No, it does not let me respond. Take action, that's fine. We can just play Soren again. Um, pass, let them go to end step. See, if I knew which one they were, were going to pick, I could have killed it in response. Let's get rid of Narfi, because it's... A free spell for them, essentially, over and over again. A free zombie. Or not free, but an endless value zombie. Let's do it like this. Play you. I don't think your one black is going to be able to get rid of it. Okay. Pass through. They could attack me here if they want. It would be sort of a foolish attack. Because I can just block with the 1-1. One, one. Also, they would lose... Well, I guess they wouldn't lose their zombie, but there's a potential for them to. Really? You do know that when the ring tempts me, I can make this a ring bearer and attack. Unblocked, right? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Wait. If I just attack with both of these next turn, they die. Pass. No blocks. Maybe they're trying to force me into a block because they know that. Yeah? Oh, they created 2-2. Two, two. That's right. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Resolve. Discard a card. Um. Probably talk a new... Well... This at least has utility. But we have cling to dust, so... There's a risk I brainstorm lock myself, but I think we gotta do it. We're so close to winning this game. They could counter this if they want, I guess. No, they can't. Heartless act. Okay, so they're gonna sack their scarab god. Wait, then you just die. Then you're just dead.
Ja. Do you have a one mana? Okay, gotcha. Got. <laughs> oh, it's too good. Uh, put two cards on top of your library. So I guess we put you and you. Um, we'll do it like this. My turn. So this. And you're dead. GG. <laughs> Alright, that was a close one. Like I said, the Scarab God is a really hard card to um, deal with because, I mean, it, it, it essentially avoids the commander tax um, clause, right? It, it, it avoids it where... You know, normally when you remove someone's commander, they have to pay two extra every time you remove it. But with the Scarab God, it just goes right back to their hand, so it's always five mana. And then it's such a powerful effect. Um, it's a tricky card to play around. We got... Got very close there to dying, but... Found a way out. This is your mid-game reminder to subscribe if you haven't already. Corvold. Another really powerful card. We have turn two ramp. And we have... We have a counter, but it's a situational counter. We technically have red, blue, and black in our hand, plus ramp. So maybe we just run it like this, and we have brainstorm to get out of it. But we have no way to shuffle... I think this is okay. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. They also have an expensive commander, so... I think we'll be okay. So, let's... do this, turn one. Since it's tapped. Turn two, we'll do an untapped land and guardian idol. Um, we have an island, so let's... Oh. Well... Meh, we can save that for later. Let's... Do we have any double blue in our hand? No, we do not. So let's... Black... Ramp. They have their Triome ready to go. Shock... Dang, they had the whole... They had the whole grip. Okay, they blew up my thing, that's fine. <laughs> About that, about that ramp piece you got rid of. Um, let's do this. Crack it. Um, we don't have any double mana, so I think we just... We have, we have a couple double... I think we have double of every color in our deck. Like, we have a double red spell, double black, and double blue. I can think of all three, so probably just you, right? That's the right card to grab right now. And... Just pass? Yeah. It's fine. We're under no pressure, so... Yeah. I think this will be good for later. So I'm going to keep it. Play the island. Right? Or do we just... Yeah, because this will give us three mana, but we'll only have five. So next turn we can Dark Ritual. Or do we play this... Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Oh no, we have enough right now. Your go, opponent. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and read the ward clause. I saw you touching the card. Go ahead and read it. Oh, they had the perfect... Oh, no, no. Actually, they did not. They did not have... <laughs> 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 I 
okay to be fair i forgot that that would happen so <laughs> it's not it's it's my deck and i forgot it would happen so it's not uh that far-fetched to think that they you know didn't realize that that would happen but i always forget that th this trigger to make the army token happens in response to them casting spells so I thought they actually had the perfect solution, but they did not. Because I would just sack this and keep my Sauron. And they would have to sack their f flesh bang. So they basically just wasted a card and didn't change the board state at all. Rough. Rough for the opponent. <laughs> that dark ritual was clutch. Kind of, uh, kind of poetic justice, though. They blew up our mana rock on uh, turn two, uh, just to be dark ritualed in return. Pretty, pretty poetic, in my opinion. Kaya. Okay. Is this the seven mana? I think it is seven mana Kaya. Yes, so this one's a rough one. Um, because it's a hexproof planeswalker. However, our deck is built to beat this deck. It just depends on how the cards fall. So what do we got going on? One land, two lands. We get to go first. They don't even want to try. Okay, fair enough. It would have been a tough fight, so... I'm okay with the win, if you're scared. <laughs> Go for the throat, sure. Uh, Rajmi? I don't remember what this deck does. Simic things, I'm sure. Whenever you cast your first spell each turn, reveal the top card of your library. You may cast it without paying its mana cost if it's a spell with lesser mana value. If you don't cast it, put into your hand. That's kind of broken. Okay. Simic cards are doing Simic things. Whenever you cast your first spell each turn, reveal the top card of your library. You may cast it without paying its mana cost if it's a spell with lesser... Oh, lesser than the spell you already cast. Okay, but if you cast a five mana spell and it's a four or three, you know, four less mana, you can cast it for free. Otherwise, you just put it in your hand. I mean, that's stupid value. Okay. That's pretty good. However, Simic has no way of removing stuff. Uh, no, no way of removing creatures. So, if we get Sauron down, it's pretty much GG. We have all our colors. A way to get in their hand. A way to bounce all their stuff. Yeah, I think we keep. I wish we had a ramp piece. That would make this hand perfect, but... Can't have everything. So let's lead on the tap land. We already have a way to get in their hand. No reason to keep the other way. Nice. Perfect draw. Wow. Curved right into it. So... Let's just do this. And do we have any double... No, we don't have any double. So we have all our colors. We have a bunch of black. So let's do this on red. And we can get the Demir shock land with this. And then we'll have double blue, double red, and double black. Okay. Extra turn spells are nice. We'll get the Demir land. Was it Watery Grave? That's what it, is that what it's called? I forget. I can't remember all the card names. Or we could get Xander's Lounge. Xander's Lounge. Yeah, then we don't take damage. It does come into play tapped, but we have enough mana to do everything else we want to do. Get in your hand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow, a lot of counter spells. They, uh, they really packed their deck. Okay. So... We can play around this. And we can play around this. This is their best counter for our commander. Foretell the extra turn spell. We 
they know that if we get this card down, we're winning the game. That's why they have all these. Okay, we have double red. We have double everything, so it doesn't matter from here on out. So let's... Let's play this... Hmm. Yeah. Play this. We can Cyclonic Rift their commander and set them back. One, two, three, four, five. We're, yeah, we're not close to casting this for its overload cost. And I think it's one, two, three, four, five. So next turn, we'll be able to play Sauron. So if they want to have their commander down, they're going to have to play it again. And then we can do this, make a little 2-2, two -two, get the party started. Tap land is awkward for them. So they're holding up mana because they know that I can come down with Sauron. However, counter target creature or planeswalker Counter target spell. Put target spell back in their opponents. Okay, they have a bunch of ways to go about it. But they're gonna... Are they just gonna keep all these up? Or are they gonna play their commander? Because they can't keep all these up and play their commander. Um... Yeah. They're gonna... You wanna bounce my 2-2? Because then I can play Sauron. We could also just play Sauron in the face of this. This is hexproof. Interesting. We could also just play it into the counter and make them use them. But I think we wait. They could commit my token if they want. So they can keep up some of their counter magic. But they can't keep up everything. We have a lot of black, so let's play it on red. Just in case they get rid of this. We can take an extra turn. Now, let me read. They only have two mana, right? So this only counters a creature or planeswalker. This can counter anything, but they don't have enough mana to pay for... So, let's all run to pit me. Yeah, didn't think you had an answer. Uh, no attacks, because they can just kill the token. I was hoping we would draw a land so we could play around the counter spell. Yeah, that would have been perfect. Two damage to any target. I think we just play Brawl. And end the turn. So they can hold up counters, but we have a bigger board than they do. Okay. Disdainful stroke. Alright, we're just going to apply the pressure. You can counter it if you want. 
Please, please counter it. Yes. Okay, I could disdainful stroke their commit. Let's let this resolve and see what they... So they could do Reclamation Sage. Okay. So they're going to blow up my Cold Steel Heart. So we're going to tap it for mana. Uh, resolve. Player Commander. Got through the counter spells. Now go ahead and try to get rid of that. <laughs> I mean, they they could bounce it, but then they gotta sack their they gotta sack their commander. Okay, so they steal it. Interesting. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um Mhm, mm mhm. Mm we'll let them have it for the moment. Obviously, we have no way of getting around that. Let's just go do this now while we have the life. We don't need to take any life. We can attack with these. Yeah. Do it like this. We can disdainful stroke their commander. Which is all their mana right now. That's a good draw. So they didn't attack with Sauron, which is kind of interesting. We'll do this on their turn. Hold the multiverse. Don't really care about that. They scribed to the bottom for both, so they didn't find what they were looking for. At the beginning of your end step, untap all lands you control. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's a worthy target. Fortunately, they get an orc. Okay. Got a counter out of their hand. But now they can hold up all their counters. But they don't have a lot of... Well, I guess they're going to untap all their lands. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll block. No trample. Spiteful Boundary does it. But they're going to untap all their lands. Man, that's why we couldn't let this resolve. Because now Thassa's intervention can get us. So we'd have to pay... We'd have to pay 8 mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that'd be all our mana, and they just counter it. Ugh. We really need a targeted removal spell. So let's put a upkeep stop here. These both need to go away. Yep. Yeah. And we'll do it again. Those don't do it either. Okay. Is 
They're on a very slow clock, but they are on a clock. They're down to nine life. Okay, let's do this on their turn, since it's an instant. Into the story. Okay, they tapped out. Seems like a good time to do this. If they want to counter it, they can. Wash away. Okay. Fair enough. They gotta find a solution for the two twos. Um. We'll let one through. Time warp. Okay, that's a good one. Get a commander. We got a block. We can't take seven a turn from here on out. Man, that wilderness reclamation. That's just gross. They're probably going to counter this. And if they do, I think we scoop. Yep. GG. Yeah, I mean they they um they had the one thing that would get around Sauron that I could think of, which is stealing it. I hadn't considered Sauron being stolen, but um they're playing Simic control, which is it's not my favorite kind of control because you can't remove anything but since it does big mana and it has spells like wilderness reclamation it is w once they get the pieces together and they can start stealing your stuff then they have so much mana that it almost makes up for the fact that you can't remove stuff um so yeah stealing sauron with and it was pretty early in the game when they cast mass manipulation too so um because they're they were able to get a hit on mana they were able to actually cast this normally this spell is stone cut stone cold unplayable in most blue decks because you just don't have the mana to pay for that cost but in simic you can get away with that so well played by the opponent i don't really have anything to say uh other than they did a good job i think if they didn't have that exact spell they would have lost because nothing they would have done in these colors would have been able to get rid of sauron but they had the right spell at the right time so Good for them. I think we also were in a spot where we, when that spell was cast, I think we had one card in our hand. And, uh, you know, like I talked about before earlier in the video, um, you know, part of what makes Sauron great is you can refill your hand, but if you're in between, you know, the spot of you know, having Sword on the battlefield and then having the ring tempt you, then you still have nothing in your hand. So I think if we had refilled our hand, we might have had, you know, like a counter spell or something like that. Um, but we didn't. We They caught us at the right time. Okay. Um, what is this thing again? Oh, this is one of those combination commanders. As long as you have one or fewer cards in your hand, this card has Vigilance and Haste. Whenever it attacks, look at the top six cards of your library. You may exile a legendary creature card from among them. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. Until end of turn, you may cast the exile card without paying its mana cost. Okay, we keep coming up against these like free value commanders, which is really annoying. But um, this one's in Boros, so... It's fine. I mean, we have answers for it. They get to go first. Languish kills it. I think we're good. Two. Uh, I didn't realize the lands were the two awkward tap lands, but that's okay. That's okay. 
We just need to draw more lands. That's the only thing. Yep. Dress you. Okay. Kind of helped him out with this guy. <laughs> what does this do? It has vigilance whenever it dies, return to its owner's hand. Okay. Awkward, heartless act. Um. Okay, let's let's cyclonic rift it. Yeah, I thought they might try something like that. So now they can't do anything. I guess they'll okay, okay, cool, they can recast it. But now we can kill it. Oh, wait, we should do it like no, not like that. Instants and sorceries cost one less to cast, right? Instant. Yes, yeah, so... I think they're trying to save me life here. Is that what they're doing? Yes, so blue... No. Blue. Maximize our mana. Okay, that's a good card. B somewhat broken, but kind of fairly balanced alchemy card. It's not crazy, but it's not, in, you know, awful either. It's okay. All right, let's Solemn. Get a hit on mana. Take action. What do we need? Uh... We have double black, double red, double blue, so let's just go get a uh, black source. We could languish our own creature in order to draw a card. We can also big score, make treasures. Okay, what does this do? There's a double strike. Dies to languish. Seems like a good time to languish. First time each turn, untap all creatures you control after that phase of additional combat. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Draw a card. Okay, land is fine. Turns on our all runs epiphany. For Dane. Okay. Hellish Torn. Alright. Um, yeah, I think we just do this for five, right? We can't do it for five. Okay. Cancel. Oh, interesting. Alright, well, they have no interaction, so maybe we should just... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe we should just soar on here. This... They have to sacrifice three other creatures, so it's unlikely they're going to have that next turn. Let's just do it like this. Play their commander. Yep, yep, yep. Create an orc. They can attack if they want. Yeah. Oh, of course, it's a six toughness creature. Uh, auto pay, I guess. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But it costs nine now. 
Man, this is uh really clogging up the the vibes. Um I guess even if we do this for four, it's good, right? Can we do it for four? One, two, three, four. Because it wouldn't let us do it for five, right? Because we'd have to pay two more. Is this an instant? No, it's a sorcery. What's our graveyard look like? One, two, three, four. So we create a four, four. It's not bad. It kills this. I'm scared about what else they're going to draw, but they can also sack three creatures. Ugh. They can sack three creatures, then what happens? Incubate five times, then transform all incubator tokens you control. Well, if they sack three, then we can meet Hook Massacre. Artifacts, lands, yeah. Okay. Well, I think we big score. Let's get rid of this. Two lands. Okay. Sure. They're going to have a turn next turn. But they have no cards in hand. They get free value off of their commander. But now we have the mana to clean up the board if we have to. Attack all. Yep. Okay. So. Kill you. Block you. This has double strike. But it's okay. You play Ragavan. Um. Decline. Oh god, decline. Please don't have lightning bolt in your hand. <laughs> hey, they're trying to go for it. Don't have lightning bolt. Don't do it. Okay, Ragavan. Yep. Mm hmm. Cold Steel Heart. Okay. Okay. So now I think I can blow up their whole board. And we'll gain a little bit of life back. Does this have haste? It does have haste. Okay, so first things first. It looks like we can play this and do this. So let's do it like this. Auto pay. They can block this and kill it, so no attacks. Okay. So if we do this for... Eight. That kills our Sauron, too, if we get rid of this. But I think we have to do it, right? It wipes the whole board, though, so this comes down... This comes down with haste. God, it, uh... It's no good either way, no matter which way you dice it up. But... I think we just gotta do it. Could have attacked first, but it is what it is. One, two, 
one or fewer cards in hand. So it doesn't have haste. Oh, it does have haste. Oh, yeah. Okay, good game. Yeah, there was, I, I don't think there was anything we could do there. Um, eh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, the, the six toughness creature really put us in a shitty spot. I mean, I guess we could have... I guess we could have just done it for five and kept our Sauron. And then we would have had a blocker, but... Then they still would have had two creatures the next turn. So we still would have died. Right? So there's... I don't think there was any way of getting out of that. It's tough playing creatures, or it's tough playing commanders that get free value or cast spells for free. I mean, I'm sure you've all run into that, but um, it's hard when you have a, a, a commander that doesn't do that and to keep up with those those style of commanders. Um, I just don't think we had the right cards in hand either. We didn't have any instant speed removal. Here's another one. We're literally about to play another one. So this one's even more annoying because it's uh, it has hexproof, so we can't even interact with it. Um, we can make it. We can uh, make them sack it. We at least get to go first, so we have three lands. But yeah. Three lands is, is pretty bleh. Cool. I didn't really want to play the deck anyway. <laughs> so. That's fine with me. I'd had, I'd had enough of uh, the free value. That would have been the third cast things for free off the top of your deck commander that would, I would have played in a row. So let's come on matchmaker. Let's 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 mix it up a little bit. Let's find something different to play against. Okay, let's see what we get. We have an opponent. Okay, this is, I think this is like Aristocrat Sacrifice. Right? Orzov. Whenever there, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. When another, cre another creature you control dies. Yeah. So this is... Um, aristocrat. It's a cleric, so it's probably going to synergize with those types of creatures. This is a good hand, though. This is a great hand. Okay. Keep. we got to be careful with the one ring. We don't have a ton of ways to gain life in our deck. Except for Shieldred one ring combo, but we don't have Shieldred in our hand. Let's crack this now. And... What? Go get Blood Crypt? No. Xander's Lounge? Yeah. Xander's Lounge. Sometimes I forget that these are, uh... Fetchable with the fetch lands. Cool. Yeah. I mean, might as well, right? Their deck revolves around this card, so let's set them back. Just shy as welcome. That's a good card for them. Um, to play this as a land or not. It's tempting to get in their hand and make them discard something. Yeah, it's too tempting. Okay, well that's a good card to get rid of. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. We gotta get rid of this if we can. I guess we can commit it. We can also return it to their hand, but we don't have a counter spell. Okay, set up, set up, set up. We can bounce it. I think this 
Blood Ours is so good, but it does essentially the same thing their commander does. Yeah. Can't fall behind on lands. Right now they have no sack outlets except for Phyrexian Tower, so... I think we just make them play this again. Try to clog up their mana. They can sack the Shambling Gas and get rid of my army. There's a little port cutthroat. So it looks like they're not going to sack the Shambling Gas. They could attack and create a treasure. Nope. Okay. Well, I think we just ramp here. Because River's Rebuke is really, will, will be really good for us. Try to keep their card draw down. I know they can just replay it, but they have to keep putting mana into replaying it. Yep, kill my dude. Oh no, they just created a treasure. Okay. Shai is welcome. Lol. Okay. Darkness will swap That's a gross combo. River's Rebuke looking better and better. Okay. Um. Hmm. If we send the army at Lolth, they have to block with something. However, if we just bounce these, then they disappear anyway. So it's kind of like, why waste our thing? We can't cast this now anyway, but we can commit it. We can one ring and draw cards. It's probably the way to go, because this will... This is a sneaky, fun little piece of interaction, because... They can have a turn here, do a bunch of stuff, draw a card with Lolth. We'll draw a card with the One Ring. Hopefully we get a land in our top two, and then we can Rivers Rebuke everything they build up this turn. God, that Tishai's welcome is, uh, so annoying. One of the downfalls of Grixis, you can't interact with enchantments very well. Yeah, that's gotta go too. Let's put a stop, just so we don't forget to activate the One Ring. Oh, they don't attack with their Menace Spiders? I think that was a mistake. They should have attacked. They can sack something for double black. Or not. Okay. Cool. Land. Sack a spider. 
for black. Oh, they waited until uh, the one ring was not protecting me anymore. Sure. Resolve all. I don't want to resolve these all individually. Okay, so the question is, do we, do we Sauron first and take a bunch of damage with the one ring up, or do we just Rivers Rebuke them now? They have two legendaries. Four instants and sorceries. It's too bad this is an instant speed. Ward pay three life. I think we do this first. We're still at just enough life where if we are able to come through this unscathed. Now they could they could choose to remove Sauron and sack one of their uh legendaries. That's that's fine. They're going to have a, a bunch of these little effects. Draw a card. That's a really good one for them. That gets rid of Sauron. Doesn't target it, so that's good. That's a good card for them to draw. So it looks like we're gonna bounce all their stuff, and they're gonna destroy all our stuff. But I will get that's fine. Kill me here? No, they're just playing it. Huh. Oh boy, okay, well, no lands. I can't even really activate this because the way their deck works, it'd be really unwise. They could meat hook here for six. So now everything they play creates an or makes our orc big essentially. 
Foot artist, uh-huh. Now they gotta discard the hand size. Hopefully they get rid of me hook, but I don't think they will. Not relevant at all. I always draw this card when it's not relevant at all. Um. Yeah, I think we got a one ring, right? We got to find Got to find a better solution to what's going on here. Blue. This is a rough spot to be in against a deck that likes to <laughs> ping you for life. Okay, cool. Um one, two, three, four, five, six. We can tuck their commander with commit, but all these cards do exactly the same thing. These are the two, or these are the three doing the most annoying things right now. All they have to do is two damage to me, which they're gonna do. Of course, I'm on zero, and they have two, of course. They can just sack it if they want to. But I think I still die, because between the one ring and blood artist, I think I still die. Yeah. Yep, yep. Cool. GG. <clears throat> Not really. <laughs> uh, well, I kept trying to play more games to try to get another win, but uh, I think I've extended this video long enough. So, deck review. So there's, there's two schools of thought with this card. One is I built a deck. I've actually made other videos with this card. Um, you could just build an actual Grixis control deck that doesn't revolve around um, the ring tempting you effects and just ignore the last clause there. And then it becomes, then you sort of just work on the, the ward ability of it and the army ability of it. And you don't really worry about redraw, you know, drawing a new hand. As you can tell, there's just not enough of these to make it super consistent. And then the cards that, um, you know, the one the ring temps you are attached to are just kind of okay. They could be rep like this could be a lightning bolt instead of a you know, which is a more flexible card and instant speed and does three damage of two, so it's better. Um, so you kind of like make your deck a little bit worse by f trying to do the ring temps you stuff. Um, but the other school of thought is like, well, when it, it works, it works. And I think we saw both sides of that in this video. I think we saw, you know, th the, you know, discard your hand, draw four with the ring tempting you effective and working. Uh, I think we got a win on one of those, uh, re-rolls. And the last couple games where it did absolutely nothing, right? We didn't draw these at the right time. Then when we had them, they weren't what we needed at, in those spots. So I don't really know what the best way to build this deck is. I think this is the fun way to build it. That's the most synergistic with the commander. 
But there's an argument for like, well, building like a traditional Grixis control, more like Bola style Grixis control, is probably going to be more con get more consistent wins. So I don't know. It's up to you which way you want to go. I kind of prefer this way. Like winning isn't everything. I think when you do get the wins, where you get the where the you know card is synergizing with everything, those are more meaningful than just like standard Grixis control. Because really, then you could you could do any commander, and you might as well do Bolas or any one of those cards, you know? What makes this card unique is the effects. So I would recommend running it like the way I have it built, even though it may be less consistent in the win column, right? Um, otherwise, obviously there's a bunch of good Grixis cards, so a lot of these slots are interchangeable, but these are my favorites. Um, you can, you know, fiddle with them. You know, maybe this should be a better board wipe, like a Blood on the Snow or something like that, but um, in general, uh, I think these are good selections. So yeah, play around with it. If you like the video, you know, like it, <laughs> leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, if there's a commander you'd like me to play, suggest it down below. I'll probably take a look and, uh, consider making a deck around it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> helps the channel grow, helps me out. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.